In today's video, I'm sharing with you how you can boost your immune system during chemo. Hi guys, I'm Marina Blackford. Welcome to my channel. I am a two-time breast cancer survivor and I'm here to pay forward all the tips for you cancer fighters and survivors. So, welcome. This has been a topic that's been requested a couple times as of late. How can you boost your immune system or your neutrophils or your white blood cells during chemotherapy? And I wanna answer that for you now. I wanna remind you guys, this is my personal experience as a cancer fighter and survivor, but this is also research-based. I am not a doctor. Any information I'm giving you is linked to current research, and I will link that down below in the description box. Today's research came from my cancer center MD Anderson. And so here are the top five tips how you can boost your immune system. Number one, you want to eat healthy. This seems obvious, but we all need reminders. So if you want to boost your immune system during chemotherapy, really look at your diet. What's important here is to get a variety on your plate, a variety of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. And it should consume two thirds of your plate. I do meal kit deliveries and it has helped us put more vegetables on our plate. So I use Green Chef, which is an organic home delivery system, but whatever makes it easier for you guys, really be mindful of your plate looking colorful with more vegetables on it. Also, eating fruits and vegetables is better for you than taking supplements. If you're having trouble with your palate of consuming vegetables or fruits, yes, look at adding a supplement, but always ask your oncology team so that you know it's not inter interfering with your treatment. One of my favorite ways to get fruits and vegetables in my diet during chemo was smoothies. I highly recommend that. Just blending up a cup of ice with blueberries, spinach, strawberries, banana, adding in some yogurt for protein, or a protein powder and whatever liquid of your choice. I used almond milk, but that's a great way to boost your immune system and get those healthy fruits and vegetables. Number two is to get exercise during chemo. This sounds hard and maybe even unattainable when you're so tired and bloated and just can't wrap your brain around exercise during chemo, but I encourage you to look at it differently. Exercise is also getting out for daily walks. Exercise is also yoga. Exercise is doing some weights for 15 minutes. It doesn't have to be the big thing um, so if you guys can break it down in small chunks choose to do a morning walk doing a morning walk is my favorite way of starting your day you're gonna get your mental health you're gonna reduce stress you're gonna get your circadian rhythm for the day and it's just a great start to your day so when you're feeling well get out for those walks I promise it'll help you feel better the next way to boost your immune system is to get good sleep. Another thing that seems so hard when you're on chemo and your sleep is disrupted by steroids that you're receiving or other medications, but getting good sleep is essential to your immune system repairing at night and building up neutrophils and other cells in your body. So to get good sleep, I would do a ritual of having a good night routine. A good night routine is shutting off electronics or the TV in advance before bed. And then do whatever it is that's a routine for you. Is it lighting a candle? Is it washing your face? Is it reading? Is it meditating? But have some kind of night routine that triggers your body for rest. If you need to, you could look at trying melatonin. Again, always ask your doctors about this. Next item to boost your immune system is to eliminate tobacco or alcohol. Tobacco obviously is cancer causing and will lower your immune system. And alcohol has been linked to diseases and cancer. So if you can eliminate alcohol during this time, your body can get more rest and repair more easily. Alcohol can also disrupt your sleep, which is very vital to your body healing during this time. So if you can eliminate alcohol or greatly reduce it, you will help your immune system right now. And my fifth way to boost your immune system is to reduce stress. Guys, I know this stuff sounds hard with where you're at. I have been there, but reducing stress is good for us at any point in our life, but more so than ever now. So how do you reduce stress during a very stressful time? Here are my ways that I reduced stress. I wrote it down. I wrote it down in a journal. If things were feeling hard, I wrote out all those feelings. Even better, if you can talk to a friend, somebody that will somebody that you know you can vent to and just talk about your concerns and your hardships right now. Just let it go. 
Try some breath work or meditation, something to calm your mind, something to bring you to being present. Being present is huge at reducing stress in your life. Being present can be taking that walk, playing with your kids, calling a friend, texting a friend, petting an animal, <laughs> petting a dog. Um, there's many ways to reduce stress. I also found it very helpful to check out others when I wasn't feeling well. I text my friends and say, hey, how are you doing? It took me outside of myself and I was able to be there for someone else and in return, they can be there for you. Reducing stress may also look like handing it over, whatever it is, releasing that. And release for me is often found in prayer as well. Hand it over and just let it go doesn't mean it's going to magically go away. That's not the point. The point is to say out loud, I'm having trouble right now. And then take the next step of, but I'm here and I'm fighting and I am beating my cancer. I truly believe that words are important during this time. If you're not saying it out loud or meditating on it or writing it down, where is it going? It's staying inside guys. And that creates stress. So find a way to let it go so you can reduce your stress and boost your immune system. I hope these five tips have helped you. I hope you found something from them that you can do right now to reduce your stress and help your health. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with somebody that needs it and return for more videos. I do weekly videos, including two lives a month where I connect with you and my community. So make sure you subscribe so you can join us on the lives. I look forward to seeing you there. Bye guys. How are we? Dog in the background, check.